My sister gave birth to a baby girl. Hi, teacher. Hi, baby. Bags of rice. Great testimonies from his siblings about who he was. Good morning guys, welcome SV Squad back to another video. My name is Victoria and I'm gonna be hosting this vlog. So guys, I've got today and tomorrow off because my family and I are going up to Sydney for my cousin's funeral. Such a tragic freak accident, but um, obviously it's, don't feel like it's my place to share the deets. It's very sad. So I'm going to be going up with my sisters and my parents. Um, Orsi is really sad about because I don't often sleep away from him. Um, it's just like, I don't know. It's not a fear of Pepe or anything. <laughs> I've gotten up early, even though I'm not working. At around 6 o'clock I woke up. I'm getting ready to go to the store because my sister gave birth to a baby girl. <laughs> First baby girl of the family. Uh, last night or yesterday so she gave birth to her and I wanted to make her a nutritious meal I'm gonna make her a broccoli salad and also some chicken I'm gonna um, grill some chicken for her make her a potato salad and a smoothie so that's my plan today I really want to get all of that done before we go today a baby girl they're still deciding on a name they haven't got a name yet Molly is adamant that her name is Molly. I'm like, girl, how are you get <laughs> Nah. If it was gonna be named after any of us, then it should be named a so-so. Okay, girl, shut your mouth. Sorry I didn't take yours with me, but I got some rice for Aussie to eat when I'm gone. I know, <laughs> it's only one day, but he needs rice. And that little bag over there has all the goodies. Let's see what these guys are doing. Hello! Hello, <laughs> man. This little ex height bottle. <laughs> hey, now. How was your sleep? Uh, Hi, teacher. Hi, baby. Uh, Hi. Look. Look. So, we soon. See, we soon. You got baby tita? Uh. He's the cutest. My nephew's the cutest little baby. Rightio, guys. So I got these two bags of rice. Oh my gosh, guys. So I got most of it done. I just need to clean under the fridge, but that can wait until I get back because I get, got to get started on this cooking. This was mainly the rice that um, was on the top. A lot of it went to waste. Just please don't do something as stupid as what I just did. Anyway, so I've got pumpkin my dad cut up from his garden when I was just there and he gave it to me. So I'm going to put this in the chicken roast. I'm gonna get started on this broccoli salad and get the chicken in the oven. All right, guys, it's ready to go in now. It's been about an hour later. So I've got my broccoli salad all cooked up, chicken and pumpkin here, and her potato salad, and I'm just about to get started on her smoothie. But I'm gonna save some food for Aussie for when he comes home from work. And I guess for tonight's dinner, because I won't be here tonight. I've got her smoothie here now. I've just got some spinach, water, chia seeds, strawberries, uh, blackberries, blueberries, and a banana in there. So I made her smoothie now. I've got um, her potato salad and broccoli salad. I hope that's enough, because I'm taking this for both her and her husband. And um, chicken and hey. yeah. Where are you? At home. Can you come and pick me up? I gotta get the bins back. <laughs> I would really like to know, guys, if you know why these bugs keep showing up at my house. They're all dead now because I sprayed them last night. See, there's some there. I have no idea why they're here. 
sweeping him away. Guys, we're on a roll today. So, so, so busy. So I got came home, had a shower, and now I'm heading over to see Chrissy. So we're here at the hospital. No, oh, yeah. we had to park a little bit far, but Darnell should be right. Yeah. If you know, then you know. If you know, you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah, we couldn't find a park, so we've had to park across the road. We're just waiting for the baby to come down. Oh my gosh, how do you feel, Missy? <gasps> the first baby girl ever. Did mum hold? No. Look at her. You get baby when I say You get baby? Hi! You get this there? Yeah, hold on. Yeah, Guys, look at my baby knees. I've never been able to say that before. Is that your baby sister? No, it's a girl. Yeah, don't touch. Look, jump down. Let's go over there. She's got so much hair. <laughs> Mom, smile. Fa sama mai. She's so big, dude. She looks so much like Lipo. Okay, I like we are the same. Okay, smile, Dad. Yeah. Come smile. Come on, Dad. Come on, Dad. Come on, Dad. Come on, Dad. One, two, three. Yeah. 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 How do you feel now that you've given birth? No, I'm so hot and sweaty. <laughs> no, you don't look it. Do you feel better? Yes. Oh, did you miss your other two big babies? Yes, I did. Oh, yeah, well, one of your big oh. babies is here in Lock. Um, guys, I'm all set and packed. Just waiting for the girls to come and pick me up. Molly's um, on her way to get me. I'm kind of sad. <laughs> it's like less than, well, it won't be less than. It's only like just over 24 hours. If you've been watching us long enough, you know how I get when I have to leave Aussie. <laughs> like that time I went to Bali. Oh my gosh, that was the worst. Yeah, it's only a day, so I need to toughen up, man. I need to toughen up. So I'm all packed. I've got my electrolyte bottle. I've got everything, guys. I'll see you on the road. Okay, guys, we're just here at our um, motel thingy. We're running a little bit late. So we're watching the live stream. Oh my gosh, it's so sad. Told ya. Double room means two beds in the one room. Hey guys, so we just finished the family service. Well, we actually finished quite some time ago. Can you guys see me? Is it blurry? We've just been helping pack up and clean right? up the hall and stuff like that. Right. And door? Molly's still picking rubbish up outside. We're gonna head over to um, my uncle's house and then chill there for a bit. My parents are sleeping my at my other again. uncle's house. But Aussie is coming tomorrow. Subscribe the channel, press the ding button. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just see what he said? What? Subscribe the channel and press the ding button. Oh, good job. Do you want them to subscribe to your YouTube? And what's your YouTube name called? Ebenhazer. Ebenhazer. Good morning guys. I just half asked to straighten my hair so it's not the best. Aussie's finally here from Canberra. He got here about two minutes ago so I'm going downstairs to get my toothbrush because I actually forgot my toothbrush. So I can't be a stinky breath girl all day so I'm gonna go get my toothbrush. Why is he parked all the way over there? I don't have my watch in to count these steps. Hey darling, how's your ride? Tired? Yeah. This bathroom is so nice. What's up guys? So, Victoria is in the bathroom. We're just getting ready to now go to the service for our cousin's um, burial. 
Yeah. And um, well, and the celebration of his life is actually what it is. Great testimonies from his siblings about who he was, um, who he is as a guy, the testament of how many people his life had touched and impacted, you know. And um, what I've taken away is that, don't you know, live life to the fullest um, and for a purpose. We've got a little boy here, and his name is Evan, and um, being a little cheeky bummer. And, um, your jawline looking cute, girl, because, you know, you're on a diet. I don't know how many people staying faithful to this diet, but uh, oh, I no. sure am. I'm I think. Oh, hey, guys. Still trying to do my hair. I don't know what to do with it. Honestly, I just don't know what to do with it. We, we've checked out of the hotel now. Um, it's 9.30, so we've got half, half an hour. Didn't really have time for breakfast, but I mean, who's thinking about breakfast? I'll come with Aussie. Thanks for your services. Aussie's here with us today. Hi, Georgie boy. What's up? Did you miss me last night? Not really. Oh, come on, you big liar. Free time. With the free time card now. Free time playing. We just follow them. It's been a couple of hours. Um, we went to the burial and the funeral, which was so sad. I really wish that I could have um, gotten a glimpse of the eulogies from the parents, but I just felt like, you know, it's not my place to, to share that. Um, they did have live streams, so if you want to check out the videos, then um, you can search his name up on um, YouTube and you'll find the live streaming of it but like the amount of people that that were there are just a testimony to how many lives Simi touched he had like there was probably easy like five six hundred people there at the funeral and at um at the anger so we got there a little bit late because Eben was about to pass out he was so dehydrated needed water and food and we didn't have breakfast in the morning so we went and you know got some food for him before heading over to the um, reception and by the time we got there because my parents went straight there by the time we got there Aussie I and um, Molly and Eben the doors were closed they had had to cap it because it was over it, it exceeded 300 people there was definitely more than 300 people there the cut like it was packed so because in New South Wales we've still got the COVID rules um, it can't be more than 300. Unfortunately, because of that rule, a lot of us were not allowed to um, go in into the reception because people were already there beforehand. And, um, and so we weren't able to make it into the reception. We just want to give a massive shout out and give lots of love to our Yosefa family. During this hard time, we just pray that God strengthens you, you guys. And we thank you, thank you for having us. And we hope to see you guys again. We hope that it doesn't take something, an event like this for, for us to meet up again. But me and my Eben guy here, he wanted to come with Aussie and I. Didn't want to go with his mum and Molly, who are over there. We're still on the road, guys. Just reminiscing about the eulogies and just, tomorrow is just not promised. It makes you appreciate who you have, what you have in your life. It makes you appreciate your life. Never know what happened, guys. The real mourning happens when it's all done, when everyone's gone, all the busyness is over. Then you really, really mourn. You really feel the absence of that person. If you just put yourself in their shoes and you think, what if that was your own brother? Just can't even imagine the pain that they're feeling and then having to stress about all, all that happened today like with the, the overflow of, of people and 